from LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In today's recording, we go over the breaking news as the bill heads to the House, from House to the Senate, and that recon had a lot of money in there in this recording we go over the incredible money that is happening from this incredible fourth stimulus check update in 2021 the recon will be adding checks in there from the senate and those checks will bring it on top of the fifteen thousand dollars currently in this incredible recon then we turn back into the excitement of a third stimulus that still has forty five thousand dollars in checks for you to get on average across all this incredible money. You're gonna get your bills paid today and I'm gonna show you in this recording. Then we turn to the exciting details of student loan debt forgiveness, the latest on that student loan debt forgiveness and how you get that money across the board. Then we turn to the excitement of this stimulus and that big money for this stimulus heating up. We got a big recording and all those details and more as the excitement heats up as we go to the Senate the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. It's an exciting day, I'm feeling great. We got big money, we got a big day, and the excitement starts right here, direct from Santa Monica with your four stimulus check and with the push to put those MSCs still in there happening. Boy, we got a big recording and a big, big exciting day, and it starts right here, right now, on Mornings at Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. Here we go. We're off to the Senate, and that Senate has a lot of money for you, and that Senate will be adding checks to this incredible recon that is so far paying you on average about $15,000 of checks. Yes, multiple checks. You're going to get a big payday under four stimulus, and that's before they add in that MSC that the senators still say this week they're adding it in there. The $45,000 of checks in the third stimulus are available right today to pay your bills. I'm going to show you how several viewers got thousands of dollars this week, and then the student loan debt forgiveness that was there, and then it disappears. Where'd it go? Let's try one more time. Does it want to come back? It does want to come back. There it is. This third, the student loan debt forgiveness coming in. That ten thousand dollar offer. Will the Democrats take it? Then we turn the exciting details of. This stimulus heating up across the board because that this stimulus is very much needed. We got those details and more as we go into a big morning's broadcast. I'm excited you're here. And this, my friends, is LA. So subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers is a YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. We got a lot coming on today. Coming up next is live on air at noontime at 11 a.m. I don't want you to miss that. Then we got a big new after show at three o'clock and a big new evening's allied show at five o'clock. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. Like this video and consider becoming a member. In this recording, we have a lot to go over. First, we're going to go over the breaking news as that House bill is now off to the Senate and it's going to pay you on average $15,000 across three classes of checks. It's a big day, payday for you. I'm very excited for you. We're going to go over those MSCs. We're going to go over the clusters of the checks. And then we're going to go over each check individually. Then we're going to go over the big money that you can get right now to pay your bills and the success stories that viewers had in the last seven days. And here we go. The fourth stimulus recon passed the House of Representatives last week is off to the Senate. And in the Senate, it will pay you a lot of money. On average, $15,000 you're going to get from this fourth stimulus. I'm going to show you how later in this video. It's separated across three classes of checks and two add-ons. And here we go. Hazard pay got in there. That's for my essential workers, my hazard pay individuals. And that is one more here. $4,000 of elder care got in there. $4,000 to care for young children. They got the Pell's grant in there, $550 checks. Then they got in there the home repairs in the low-income community, free home repairs. They got the CTC, one more year about that, the child tax credit, $3,600. And then they got in there the electric vehicles, $12,500. Wow. The first add-on comes from Maxine Waters, free money to buy your first home. What? 
a free home? No, not a free home. Free money to buy your first home. And it's huge. She wanted $25,000. She got a little bit number, a little bit less than that number. How do you get this money? It's coming up later in this video. I'll show you the latest details. Which brings us to the second cluster of checks, home repairs and paid leave. Wow, those home repairs and paid leave are incredible. What are they? First, they got in their paid leave, front end checks. They got the household tax credit, back end checks, pre-kindergarten, front end checks, and then they got the home repairs this time. This is for weatherizing your home. You know, it's the holiday season and you need to weatherize your home. No, that's winterizing your home. Different terminology. <laughs> you know, weatherizing your home is to make sure the home is secure in case lobsters show up and Mitch is caroling. <laughs> Which brings us to our third clusters, our, th our, section, our second add-on of checks. And our second add-on of checks comes from the illustrious Bob Casey. It's $250 billion for that home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Wow, how do you get all this money? It's coming up late in this video. I'll explain to you how to get this mon make money. Which brings us to the third cluster. And that third cluster are money for seniors and free internet. Wow, here we go. In that third cluster, they got free school meals for all. They got cheaper prescription medication. They got the immigration reform. They got the farmers, they got the free internet, they got the war, uh, independent contractors, and they got the Medicare expansion. The Medicare expansion on the House side has in there two provisions, Senators vowed to add three provisions more. What do they have in there? On the House side, they have in there hearing aid and the Medicare gap states. On the Senate side, they add a vow, vow to add three provisions, the dental the vision, and also the lowering the eligibility age, age for Medicare, which is par for the course of what comes with MSE. Multiple IRS stimulus check. The senators, Democrats, represent it's a good House bill, but it has major gaps in it, meaning they have a lot of stuff to add in there. And this last week, three different viewers advocating to three different senators who were told again that MSCs are going in there as they start to fill these gaps up. Those MSCs they last indicated would be $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. Eligibility staying the same as third stimulus. And what's important for you to know is you need to advocate. Those six senators are Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, Sanders Schumer, and those six senators vow to add their provisions and this one in the Senate side. What was the eligibility for a third stimulus check? It was seventy-five thousand or less. Single individual, you got it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand or less, you got to double it. Family of four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rail benefits, you get it as well. They vowed to add that MSC in there, but if you have bills that are due this week or due last week, do not wait around for four stimulus. Because guess what, fifth. No, not fifth. Third stimulus is available right now to pay your bills. And that third stimulus is a fortune. And how much is it? It is on average $45,000 you can get from third stimulus. The average view of this channel has gotten $45,000 from third stimulus. And we're going to see in the second half of this video how to get that money. I'm going to show you how to pay, get your bills paid today. Thousands of dollars. As several viewers got thousands of dollars in just the last seven days. I have five viewers I'm going to show you. One viewer got $8,000 in the last seven days. This can be you. We're going to go over how to get your bills paid in the second half. We're going to cut back to this four symbols recon. The Senate changes they're going to add into this recon. We're going to go over the checks that mount to $15,000 in four stimulus. We'll be turning to student loan debt forgiveness. And then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus. And then, of course, frame wars. So far, so good. Let's see if the audio holds up. Let's see if my voice holds up. I'm feeling great. Are you feeling great? But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Mornings LA continues live from Santa Monica. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. 
Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now at the second half starts. The House of Representatives passed that incredible recon last week and off to the Senate we go. Those Senate changes will add a lot more checks in this recon. That'll pay you about $15,000. But if you have bills to pay right now, this week, this Thanksgiving week, I can get those bills paid. Yes, it's third stimulus. Put that pen and paper ready. This is the success stories that viewers had over the weekend. Then student loan debt forgiveness, more debt can be forgiven. That cola raise of this stimulus, the frame wars and the excitement that's ensuing. Those details are more as we go into the second half. I'm excited, I'm feeling great. Are you looking great? You look beautiful. You look gorgeous this morning. Did you change your hairstyle? Uh, not San Francisco hairstyle. You just look great. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers to YouTube. Like and I want you to borrow incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Join me next at noontime, 11 a.m. live on air. We got a big recording today and a big slate of recording. And with that, let's go into the second half of this video starting right now. The House of Representatives passed an incredible recon last week, and then off to the Senate we go. The senators vowed to add lots of checks to a recon that so far pays you, on average, $15,000 of checks. Wow, this is huge. The first add-on that they are putting in there so far are uh, the, the add-ons they're going to be putting in there, I'm going to cover in a second. But let's go over the checks that are so far in there. The first check that's in this incredible recon is the paid leave. And that paid leave is a fortune. How much money is it? $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 more per year. $800 a week if you make $35,000 or more per year. $400 a week if you make $15,000 or more per year. How many weeks? Up to four weeks a year. Whoa, that's a lot of money. So four weeks, that is over five to $6,000 a year on the high end. What is the eligibility? Everyone. All income levels, W-2-1099. Now, if you do not work, you may still get the benefit of it in the household. How? Here's a case in point. Let's say you live with your son and daughter. You're retired, but your son and daughter takes off from work once a week to take you to the doctor. Then they're going to get the benefits for the household. There you go. The second wonderful add-on in this incredible recon is that salt. That was an add-on at the 11th hour from before the house passed it. They got a credible provision that will provide $72,500 you can deduct on your federal tax return of what you pay in state and local taxes. Under the 2017 tax, tax code of Trump, you could only deduct $10,000. Now you'll be able to deduct $72,500. They got in there also $40 billion of free job training. Huge for my seniors because guess what? Under this stimulus, they're proposing to allow you to go back to work if you want to and still receive your benefits check. Wow, that's huge. They got in there the Medicaid gap fix. This is a big question mark I always ask from viewers, viewers always asking me. Where is the cheaper insurance? Here it is. In those 12 Republican holdout states, the Republican governors vowed not to pay for Obamacare. Now the Democrats got it in there with a workaround plan. 12 Republican states will now offer years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people in those states. Wow. Which brings us to the housing assistance, the most delicious part of this recon. $150 billion for rent, utilities, and assistance. And then those other new provisions, which are weatherizing, home repairs, and first-time home purchases. But to the first few provisions sound familiar? They should, because they're the repeat a third stimulus, and the only difference is you don't have to wait for four stimulus for this to become a law. You can get it today. Third stimulus is still paying out fortunes of money. The average viewer of the show has gotten $45,000 from third stimulus, and it's still paying out this day and this week, and I'm going to show you how to get that money right now. Get that pen and paper ready to pay your bills. Rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, food, internet, more I'm going to cover. 
and I'm going to go over all those details. First, let's go over eligibility. Everyone, you qualify. Single, married, old, young, children without children, red state, blue state, ahead in your bills, behind your bills, you qualify. So get that pen and paper ready. We're going to start with the rent. And I'm going to show you how to do it and how not to do it for the first time in this video. I'm going to also sh I'm going to show you why not to do it certain ways because I see people posting comments and they're clearly not following the steps that you need to do. First, let's go over the rent. It's huge. It's a lot of money. And three months ago, it was twenty to $30,000 of viewers are getting. Now they're getting $45,000 or $40,000 on average. Why has it grown so much? Because one, they become more sophisticated on how to get the money. And two, they've applied in multiple sources. So here was a graphic on this channel from three months ago. It was twenty to $30,000 of rent. Now it's $40,000 of rent. All right, where do you get it? If you're a member of this channel, open that newsletter. It's featured in the newsletter. If you're not, get that pen and paper ready and get ready to write it down. Six places. These are the six places you reach out to. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. And the keywords you're gonna say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Keywords you say are those words. Then, here are, uh, then for, uh, for, for the mortgage assistance, you do the same words across the board. Now, what are the key things you do and the key things you don't do? The key things you do do is you must reach out to all six. You must reach out to all six. Next, apply everywhere. Put applications on file everywhere. Then third, get multiple rounds. So if you got a rent earlier this year, go back and get another rent. If you got a rent last week, get another round of rent from someone else. You can get rent from multiple sources. Okay, how do you not do this? This is the wrong way to do it. You reach out to one place and you call it a quits. You reach out to one place and they say no and you stop. That's not how you do it. Number two, uh, you put one application on a file and you wait and twiddle your thumbs. Thumbs. That's not how you do it. Or number three, you say, well, I got rent in February. I can't get another round. Not true. You need to follow the advice because if you do, you're going to get the money. Let's turn to utility assistance. Wow. That utility assistance is huge and it's grown to $50,000. This was the numbers about three months ago. But guess what? The CPI, the consumer price index number reveals that utilities are going up even more. Heating oil has gone up 49.1% year to date. So expect this number to go up as well. Get those utilities. If you're a senior, you can get this sum of money. All you need is a pen a paper, and a cell phone or a telephone. Pick up the phone and call. You don't need the computer to do any of this stuff. You just need to phone the utility companies. Call all the utility companies. Then we go to SNAP, which is money for food. If you got a third stimulus check, why have you not gotten SNAP? SNAP is money for food. You get it from the Department of Agriculture. It pays a fortune. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year. Over the next 10 years, you'll get a quarter million dollars from this channel. That's what you do. You get these big sums of money from SNAP. You get those monies right now. You don't wait around. Then, combo. You want to get multiple sums of money. So Nisi, she had three items, 23000 Mark, Nancy had three items, 32000 And Mark had two items of 32000 well, I said to Mark, where's your third item? He got his third item. He went from 32000 to 50000 Oh, that's not Mark. <laughs> Here's Mark. He went to 50000 now Mark's at 100,000 because he caught in more items across the board. Lorraine, she was at 105, now she's at 120. The messaging has worked. I'm so excited for you because in the last seven days, here are the messages I have got on private message social media. If you've had a success story, send me one as well. Jay Grant reports that his family got $4,800 for rent just this last seven days. We got $4,800. $138 for rent and to help pay a portion of our light to the end of the year. And we couldn't have done it without your support. So thank you so much. And I speak for all of us. We love you, Adelaide. Purple Power, so kind. Thank you, Jay Graham. Scarpia listened and she got snapped. Congratulations, Scarpia. Melissa got uh, seven, almost $8,000 of rent, which was back rent and future rent. Plus she got uh, utilities of about... It's about $1,600, so she did really well. She got almost $8,000, $7,000 in seven days. There you go. And Larika got this money as well. This is how you do it. I'm so excited for you. Now, let me use Johnny as the example that you need to follow.
Johnny was one of three viewers who started a week a few weeks ago watching his channel, had zero dollars. By the middle of the week, he and two other people got $45,000 for three programs. Yes, great achievement, but not a place to stop. Johnny heard my recording, which said keep on getting sums of money, and he did. By the weekend, he got seven sums of money approved. Whoa. Now, to get seven sums of money approved, he had to apply to 15 plus places. Yes, he applied at 15 places and got seven items approved. How much money to get? $80,000. This shows you how to do it and how not to do it. For the viewer who says, I picked up the phone and called the county and they said there's no money, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. Do you think Johnny did that? Johnny didn't do that. He certainly had seven or 10 no's because you don't have all yeses. He had seven yeses, but he had to have had five no's. So he had to have called 15 places and he got $80,000 and that's how you do it. The second half of Johnny's story I really like, which is what happened on the following Monday. He reached out to his family members saying, hey, and he said, um, you know, I got $80,000 last week. Oh, great, from where? That YouTube channel, everyone's talking about LLA. Oh, really? The guy with the purple shirts. Yeah, you've heard too. So then the family member said, so where'd you get the money from? He said from Third Stimulus. And they literally said to Johnny, Third Stimulus, I've watched the cable news channels. They never mention any other money except a $14 stimulus check. I've read print media and cable news channels and broadcast media and my local news. They never mention anything but a $14 stimulus check in the third stimulus package. He said, there is the money there. They don't cover it. LA covers it. And let me show you how to do it. And by the end of the week, those two family members were believers and they each got $50,000. This is why you watch this channel. And what I need to express to you is that this is why you and I succeed. This channel is now the number three most watched financial news channel in America. Number one covers stocks, number two covers the economy, and number three is me covering geopolitical stuff like this. They don't cover this. They never covered it. And what I want to say for the first time on Mornings LA is that if you're looking to broadcast media to hear something to validate the situation, don't. They're not going to do it. So if you expect to hear someone on broadcast media talk about rent, they're not going to talk about it. Or utility, they're not going to talk about it. Or MSC, they're not going to talk about it. They never talked about first stimulus. They never talked about second. They never talked about third. And now that fourth has passed the house, have they ever told you what's even in the fourth stimulus package? No. They cover in Courtney and Kim's eyeshadow. They don't cover the subject matter. So for anyone who says, I haven't heard them talk about MSC, because they don't ask the senators about the provisions. They just report it when it's done and they call it quits. They don't care what's in the recon, the broadcast news reporters. They don't care. They just move on and cover the next subject matter. This is what we do here, and this is why you advocate and learn about how to get these sums of money. So get this big money from Third Stimulus. I have more about Third Stimulus coming up in my commentary later. Let's cut back into the Fourth Stimulus, which we left off last at the housing assistance. Well, those other three provisions on housing assistance are incredible, and they are the first-time home purchases. This is money given to the seller during the escrow period. The home repairs, that's a grant to you if you live in a low-income community. And the weatherize your home, that's like tornado and hurricane resistance uh, fabrics in the home. It's great. Then let's turn to the other provisions that are in this for stimulus recon. $150 billion for care for elders and seniors across the board. They got in their $550 checks for the Pell's grant, Pell Grant recipients. They got $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, U.S. auto manufacturer. Now, I see big problems here. I see big problems here. There's the number one problem with this is it's really one to three cars. How do you have a recon where the provision only applies to three cars? It's currently three cars and at most uh, maybe four cars. It previously was one car. And the second problem I have with this provision is it violates U.S. trade imbalance, trade uh, embargo uh, policies. There's a rule that the U.S. cannot pass laws that discourage purchase prices of goods from Mexico or Canada. What's at issue here? Look how ridiculous this looks. If you want to buy the new Ford Mustang electric, it's made by Ford. It's made in a union shop by U.S. workers, but you don't qualify for this discount because the car is made in Mexico. 
what? <laughs> the only difference is the location of where the plant is. If you want to buy the Cadillac Cleric, same thing. It's made by U.S. plant, by U.S. workers, uh, U.S. labor. The only difference is it's made in Tennessee. So it doesn't make sense. I think this provision is going to get modified. They got $65 a month when the college, when the student is not in school for food, which brings us to one of the best provisions of the Raycon is the big money for the medication. They got in their lower medication costs, and this is huge. This is 20 medications right off the board starting day one, and it'll grow to 30 medications by 2028, the most expensive medications, like arthritis, diabetes, and, and also arthritis, Medicare Part B and Medicare Part D. By example, insulin will drop from $1,000 a dose to $35 a dose. One of the provisions in there is that it'll be tied to inflation. They can't increase the price more than inflation, and that if they do, there's a penalty. Penalty? Uh, not so, says Pat Toomey, Republican senator. He says penalties are not allowed by recon. He may be right. And that's among the provisions that the Senate parliamentarian is looking at this week to potentially remove from the recon. Also, immigration reform potentially going out. She previously ruled it cannot be in the recon. And also paid leave. Remember, if she removes a provision, she does not remove the money. The money can be allocated to something else. So what are the senators doing? You see this graphic on the screen, $15,000. It's an undervaluation. There's a lot more checks than $15,000 under four stimulus coming to you. Because guess what? You already saw the repeat of the $45,000 items from third stimulus. But also, the senators are adding other checks, lots of checks to there. They told us that for months. And Bernie said, since the 1960s, is the best bill, but it has major gaps in there. And all the people who want to give an MSC, like Warren, Wyden, Sanders, Schumer, Casey, Coons, all say, get ready for the Senate. There's a lot of changes coming. If you missed what happened last week, the House members basically said, okay, Senators, you want to add a lot of stuff, just send over to the Senate. We're good for the House, just send over to the Senate. And that is where you advocate for. But get that pen and paper ready because I got some more checks for you right now. And they start with... Universal pre-kindergarten for three to four-year-olds. Wow, it's huge. They got in there the child tax credit. They got the earned income tax credit, which is front end, $3,600. The home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. They got in there the hearing services for people on Medicare. Then they got the, uh, and that is likely a check. They got in there the housing, which we covered, the Pell Grant, the $550 check we covered, and the $65 per month when the student's not in school, we covered that as well. So what else would Bernie and co. on the Senate side add into this recon besides these, uh, besides these monies? Bernie and these senators would add in there at least the uh, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, the dental, and the vision in addition to their push to add uh, MSC. Let's go over each of those provisions one at a time. First, Bernie says that we have to drop that Medicare eligibility age. It's currently 65. Bernie wants it at 55. I don't think it's going to happen at 55. Bob Casey wants it at 50. Then they want to get in their dental. Bernie last had it in there um, at a check, but he really wants his 10 years full benefits. I don't see 10 years full benefits happening. He also proposed three years full benefits. I see that happening. The last provision they had this in there was a check to you, senior on Medicare, of $850 a year. I don't think that's sufficient. I don't think it cuts it. It doesn't cover most procedures. So I don't think that's sufficient. Which brings us to vision. Bernie wants a pair of frames and a pair of glasses per year. Excuse me, I just said that wrong. Pair of frames and an eye exam per year. Very, very simple. Eye exam, $50 at Costco, and a pair of frames. Very, very simple. $150 check sent it out every year. Not so simple because guess what? Today I had someone send to me a message saying, who are these people who want $500 frames? They're just greedy. This is not what the government's about. They're just trying to milk the government. We're not sending out $500 frames. They're greedy. Oh, the name call is starting. It's time for the reunion episode. It's time for Frame Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Frame Wars has heated up in recent days with people providing their hysterical, humorous, and realistic opinions about where frames should be in this recon. We had started with this serious comment by one viewer that said, her daughter pays for $400, $450 frames, and that's what Medicare should pay for. Last yesterday's episode had someone say, I need dental, I need uh, vision glasses because I need to see from afar. I need reading glasses so I can read what was in that binder that Kevin McCarthy kept on looking at. I don't think there's anything in the binder. I think it was just Uber Eats orders. 
and then I need sunglasses so that if um, if uh, Josh Holly comes in, I can sort of look the other way and he won't see my eyes. <laughs> Uh, I said, you're not going to get three pairs of glasses from Medicare. They're not going to do it. And yet that has caused controversy. A lot of controversy. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions about frame wars. What are their opinions? Let's take a look and see what their current opinions are as a frame wars heats up this new week. My friends is frameworks. Well, what is next on the agenda? Next on the agenda, of course, is student loan debt. My goodness, the president has a ten thousand dollar offer. The guy should take it. This could be done during the holiday season. Why would they not take it? It's so simple. The ten thousand dollar offer for student loan debt forgiveness follows three other rounds of student loan debt. Individuals who became disabled, individuals who went to work in the nonprofit sector, individuals who went to work in the public sector. This stimulus heating up next January. Why? Because COLA raise is not enough. Your benefits are going up 3.9% January 1st, but that's not enough. They're stepping in with this stimulus. The this stimulus is the amalgamation, the embodiment of the president's campaign promises to do SSI reform. First, they're going to raise your benefits up a lifetime, then apply a new benchmark. That new benchmark is inflation that would be applied in December 2022. Inflation is going to be 2 to 3% every year, so you'll get a new step up every year. Why is this important? It's so important because COLA has been left behind. Your benefits have been undervalued pre-pandemic, during the pandemic, and now after the pandemic. They're going to remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty, and love is going to win, and you'll be able to do a pair dance at your own wedding. Finally, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The link is under the video. Become a member today and get that incredible newsletter. It comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Light alert system. The reason why you want to get that newsletter is it has all the big information in there that has the money for a third stimulus. It has the six places you reach out to, the keywords you say, the five nonprofits, the money from Treasury to learn about the money for Treasury before you make that phone call, and more. Consider becoming a member today to get that incredible newsletter and get these big sums of money under third stimulus today. And with that, let's go into my final commentary as we start a big, bold, beautiful morning. We start a little bit late because I was testing out some new stuff on set today. But I'm excited you're here. I'm feeling great and you're looking beautiful. Keep up that new hairstyle. Just stay away from Nancy. But other than that, we're doing great. I'm very excited for how well you have done in the last seven days. Seven days ago, I said, get third stimulus and you have done so well. What's important is I've been doing this for over a year. I know what happens around the holidays. People have bills. People have bills. And the more bills you get paid, and the quicker you get them paid, the better. What's important is that when we're doing these third stimulus bills being paid, you're getting bills paid that are not only due today, but bills in the future. So bills for January and February and month, March. People are getting bills paid in the future. What does that mean? It means that when you go into the next month of December, you won't have to pay one or two or three of the bills because someone else has picked up the tab for it like the government or a nonprofit. And selling, you want to have that financial obligation. Every month that you don't have to pay those bills, it frees up cash. And every time you free up cash, you create independence, financial independence. And that's what this channel is about. This big sum of money is available right there for you to get. It's very telling and very fascinating that we have people who are members and people who are not members. And while everything is covered in the video, and the newsletter just sort of simplifies and it repeats in case you miss it. When I get comments from people who says, I couldn't find the money, the persons always say the same darn thing. They say, I reached out to the county and they had no money. Ah, oh, I said, don't reach out to one place. Now, here's something, here's an example that I want to go over, which I haven't gone over in a while. There are cities, there are counties, and there are states. And some cities are very small, 500 residents. Some counties are very small. 3,000 residents, 10,000 residents. 
And people who reach out to the city has 300 residents. Do you think the city has any money? No. It's too small a city. They weren't given any money. But it's at the county. If the county is large enough. But if the county is still small, has 5,000 residents, they don't have the money. Where is it? It's at the state level. And so when the person says, uh, yesterday someone sent me a message in a state that I recognize the county is pretty well, and sent me the name. I reached out to my county. I didn't recognize the county. <laughs> I didn't recognize the county. It's too small. And the person said, I reached out to the county. They didn't have it. So that's all I did. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. So thank you. Goodbye. Uh, it's, no, 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 no. There's no money at the county because it's too small. That's why I cover the state. I've been doing this for over a year, and last year we had this issue. For example, Louisiana, uh, 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 the Southwest states, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. And there would be people in very small towns. And say, I reached out to the town. I said, why do you just reach out to the town? It's too small. And then I'd show to them, did you go to the state housing authority? State? I didn't think of calling the state. Why would I call the state? Because I featured the recording. <laughs> I featured the recording. And yes, the people who went to the state got big money. Louisiana was a very clear example. I always remember the viewer got, it was either eight hundred or thousand dollars a month in rent. That was her rent as a single, a one bedroom apartment for a single woman. It was a, it seems like a lot of money, but she got it paid. She was not even behind on the rent. She got it paid. It was at the state level. Her town's too small. Her county's too small. So that is why you have to really listen to the videos and pay it real good attention. Next, it's very important that you do not use external sources as the way to self-validate the situation. Because they won't, they won't. What am I talking about, self-validate? When you look at third stimulus, there's so much money in there. When you look to fourth stimulus, there's so much money in there. When we look for the push to add M MSCs in there, there's so much push. Broadcast media, they're not gonna cover it. They're not gonna cover it. And I sometimes see people s s sort of wanna look externally to get a self-validation of the situation. It's not gonna be there. Did broadcast media ever tell people that there were $150,000 uh, loans going to people to save their businesses during the pandemic for EIDL? No. Did they ever tell people that there were that there were 24-hour turnarounds for EIDL grants for people to uh, save their businesses? No. They never did in first stimulus. They never did in second stimulus. They sure ain't doing it in the third stimulus, and they're not going to do it in a fourth stimulus. So if you're looking to broadcast media, print media, say, uh, I haven't heard about MSC anywhere except you. Because they don't care to ask the question. I don't employ their broadcast news reporters. I don't employ their, their studio uh, executives. I don't employ their print media people. They don't go out and ask the question. They ask, um, they ask uh, what type of eyeshadow are you wearing today? They ask, uh, what type of suit are you wearing? Uh, who's, who's the designer? That's their questions. And if they don't ask the question, you shouldn't think that the situation is not there. What's important to understand is you need to make the, need to make the effort. I want your bills paid. I want your bills paid this week. Your bills can get paid, and these success stories are huge. If you've had a success story and I haven't featured on camera, send me a private message on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and I'll feature on live on air. Money is being paid for bills right this week. I can get lots of your bills paid, and the more bills we get paid, the better. And then the, the viewers who take the information, the recording, and go beyond that. We have Lorica who got holiday meals. Holiday meals paid for for her family. I don't really cover holiday meals in this recording, but I do cover, you know, um, holiday things like holiday gifts and potentially getting holiday items covered from the nonprofit. She took a step a little further. I've had viewers get past due medical bills paid. So there's a way to do even better than that. You're watching this channel because you want bills paid. You want bills paid. You want cash. You want as much cash as possible. Get the cash available today. Advocate for the cash for tomorrow. And together, we are a family that grows together. We learn and we help and we educate. If you have a success story, post in the live chat because when you do, you inspire someone else. Learn the recordings. Bring the information on camera. Bring your questions. Reach out and advocate. I don't care how old or young you are. If you have a cell phone or telephone, a pen and paper, you can get this sum some money. I'm very proud of you and I'm very proud of the success stories. Don't look elsewhere. Look amongst ourselves. Don't look externally. Look amongst this community. Your success stories are defined here, and your success stories are one at a time. If you got these sums of money, like the people featured earlier in this recording, like Jay Grant and Scarpia and Lorica uh, and Melissa Justice, get another round. Everyone who got money early on this channel, early this year, get another round. Get these sums of money because they're available and advocate for that MSC. 
advocate for what is enforced in most and get the money right now. Focus on getting cash to pay your bills this week. And that cash is available. It's absolutely available. Listen and learn. If you're a member, read the newsletter. If you're not a member, then re replay the videos or watch the videos routinely at the third simplest part so you learn about how to get in these sums of money. And then we advocate for what goes in for stimulus because for stimulus has a lot of money. 15000 currently, but likely growing dramatically with those senators. And what's also growing dramatically is the questions, so many questions. Why, why were there cows on the beach in Santa Monica? Who put cows on the beach in Santa Monica? Well, a YouTuber thought it'd be cute to bring cows on the Santa Monica beach to promote his YouTube channel and cryptocurrency and uh, and uh, the return of his two popular shows. So what was the reaction? And what could those cows look like? Let's take a look and see what those cows look like when they visited Santa Monica just a few days ago. <laughs> And with that, subscribe. For 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, like and subscribe to the family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video and become a member. Join me next at noontime, live on air at 11 a.m. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with LA for more.